It's news time. Information is power. The current, the news headline. Southeast leaders must act. Nigerians react after gunmen killed ex Navdak DG Akuyili's husband. The news in full. Nigerians have denounced the assassination of Dr. Chike Akunyili, the late husband of late former Navdak Director General and Information Minister Professor Dora Akunyili by unidentified gunmen. According to Daily Post, Akunyili was killed along with his driver and escort on Tuesday while traveling from Monicha to Umuaji near Eke Umpo. Akunyili was said to have attended a lecture in commemoration of his late wife, Professor Dora Akunyili, at Sharon Hall, All Saints Cathedral, Onicha, organized by the Nigerian University of Nigeria Unsuka Alumni Association, UNAA, Onicha chapter. His death sparked outreach among Nigerians who flocked to social media to criticize the Buhari's administration's relentless executions. Some have urged its Southeast officials to intervene to prevent the region's insecurity from spiraling out of control. And that is why Renomokri has said that it is likely that President Muhammad Buhari may declare a state of emergency in the southeastern part, just like the one is in the worldwide had actually predicted same. Following the detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP in Namdekanu, the group had ordered a seat at home uh, every Monday until Kanu is released, and the militia arm of the proscribed group, the Eastern Security Network, has been attacking innocent individuals who violate the order. Several shops and vehicles have been burnt, people beaten and killed allegedly by members of the group for disobeying the directives. However, the indigenous people of Biafra has been debunking themselves from being uh, perpetrators of this evil act, and this is Renomokri saying that President Muhammad Buhari is trying to declare a state of emergency in the southeastern part of the country following the death of the assassination of Mr. Chike Akunyili, who is the husband to late uh, Navdak uh, DG Dora Akunli. The husband to the uh, late Navdak DG Dora Akunli, who is a widower, Chike, and seven others have been killed in Anambra. Dr. Chike Akunyili, a widower of the late Director General of the National uh, Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, that is Dora Akunyili, has been killed by gunmen at Unpo in the Indemili North local government area of Anambra State. Seven other persons were also killed in the incident, yet to be confirmed, reports alleged. The incident reportedly happened on Monday evening. And the correspondent of the punch gathered that Dr. Akunyili was returning from his trip to Onicha, where he had gone to obtain a posthumous award of excellence for his late wife when he ran into the hoodlums at Unpo and was shot and killed. The hoodlums, it was gathered, were chanting no election in Anambra in November. The state police public relations officer, Ikenga Tochuku, could not confirm the report, noting that he had yet to get the details of the incident and the correspondent of the poor report reports that the agulu community where akunyilis hailed from is mourning adding that however that nobody is ready to talk to the press a former vice president of agulu community who is also a retired information officer with the federal ministry of information confirmed the incidents to the correspondent of the point on telephone but asked for publications to delay uh, to be delayed without giving reasons. The Anambra State Commissioner for Information also confirmed the incident but asked to be given time to obtain clearance to discuss the issue. And this is the case. And uh, as a result of this, uh, you know, there has been cases about the gubernatorial election that was to be taking place uh, in Anambra State where the indigenous people of Biafra and then some others had actually said that there will be no election, that there should be no election uh, in, in Anambra state, saying that nothing, uh, that, and then, you know, the gubernatorial aspirants are actually be, uh, begging the indigenous people of, uh, of, of Biafra that they should be 
uh, that they should not actually do that, that they should please allow, uh, uh, you know, elections to take place so that there can be uh, equity and there can be justif uh, justification of uh, the ills going on and the maladministration going on in Anambra State. But the indigenous people of Biafra uh, actually seems not to agree with what is actually uh, being said by uh, this gubernatorial aspirant, saying that regardless of what it is, there should be no election uh, in Anambra State. And just like it has been reported, that the husband of the late Director General of, the, of NAVDAC actually went to collect a posthumous award of his late wife uh, in regard you know, to, her, to her excellence you know, while she was alive. And therefore, on his way back from the award, he was actually, uh, you know, we lead by the uh, bandits, uh, unknown gunmen, and he was actually uh, killed. He was shot and killed. And people around the environment are actually mourning him, thereby not giving any information yet about what is truly happening. And then this, out of many, because seven others who were killed in Anambra State, is why Reno Mokri had actually said that the President Muhammad Buhari is actually thinking of declaring a state of emergency in the southeast, saying that the, if the, and, uh, saying that if this development is true, then it must be because of the high-profile murders that have been going on uh, in the southeastern region. Amokri was tweeted that let the man whose trousers never reach the floor be warned, and that was because President Muhammad Buhari visited Imo State, you know, in a trouser. That actually spur out reactions on the social media, saying that uh, the one is the Indigo youth, uh, in Indigo Worldwide too, while reacting to the Akulinili's murder, said that the federal government may indeed, you know, declare the state of emergency in the region because the southeast seems to have been plagued with several pockets of insecurity and violence following the detention of their leader, that is in Abdekanu, because they had actually said that. For, they would be going on a one month uh, sit at home, you know, order if uh, their leader was not brought to court on October 24, 2021, which was his trial date. However, also for October 1st, 2021, which is supposed to be the Independence Day, they had set a sit at home order yet again that every beer France should not go out that day, and also anywhere that the Nigerian flag was hoisted it should be brought down, seeing that they were going to talk to the banks themselves to find, so that they can see reasons with them to bring down this. And that is why uh, the people have the opinion that the indigenous people of Biafra are likely to be involved in this case. And the president, Muhammad Buhari, is being, you know, a uh, guest, because it's still a guest, that he, he may likely declare a state of emergency in the southeastern parts of the country. Thanks for